What's up guys, we'll be talking about the steps involved in what chemical carcinogenesis. So um, first of all, we have the initiation. Uh, this is exposure of cells towards sufficient dose of carcinogenic um, agents, right? Which leads to the alteration of the cells, making it potential, um, potentially capable of giving rise to tumor, all right? Now, initiation causes what permanent DNA damage, which is irreversible and has memory okay now um because malignant transformation results from mutations that affect the prone to oncogenes and um, tumor suppressor genes and genes that regulate apoptosis and genes involved in dna repair the majority of initiating chemicals are what mutagenic so dna is a primary target for chemical carcinogens okay as long as the repair mechanisms are intact, not all DNA damage leads to cancer. Okay? And virtually, um, any signal may be targeted by chemical carcinogens, but RAS mutations are what particularly common in several chemical-induced tumors. Hepatocellular carcinoma in patients with or without chronic infections um with hepatitis is associated with what ingestion of fungal metabolites okay aflatoxin b1 and is usually associated with what p53 mutations okay for initiation to occur carcinogen altered cells must undergo cells of um undergo cycles of proliferation so that changes in dna becomes fixed or permanent okay and also proliferation may be induced by concurrent exposure to biological agents such as what viruses and parasites dietary factors or hormonal influences okay um b we have promotion after initiation we have promotions we have said that promoters can induce tumors in initiated cells but not what tumorigenic what themselves okay so um cellular changes resulting from the application of promoters do not affect dna directly and are reversible and promoters enhance the proliferation of what initiated cells an effect that may contribute to the development of what additional mutations in these cells the carcinogenicity of some chemicals is augmented by subsequent administration of our promoters such as hormones drugs phenols Application of promoters leads to proliferation and clonal expansion of initiated or mutated cells. Promoters, promoters are as important as initiating what chemicals in carcinogenesis, okay? Because cells initiated by exposure to environmental carcinogens are innoxious unless subjected to what repeated assaults by promoters. And also tumor production may occur after exposure to exogenous what agents such as cigarettes, smoke, viral infection that cause tumor, that cause what tissue damage and reactive what hyperplasia. Perhaps uh, more serious because they are difficult to control are endogenous promoters such as hormones and bowel salts. Hormones such as estrogen serve as promoters of liver tumors. The prolonged use of what Diethyl um, stibesterol is implicated in the production of postmenopausal endometrial carcinomas. Intake of high level of dietary fats have been associated with what increased risk of what colon cancer. This may be related to an increase in synthesis of bile acid which have been shown to act as promoters in colon cancer. Alcohol cons uh, consumption increases the risk of development of cancers in the mouth, pharynx, and larynx by more than 10 folds, probably by acting as a promoting agent. Okay? So, um, these are the steps involved in what? Um, chemical carcinogenesis, right? We'll see you guys in the next tutorial soon. Bye for now.